Bismillah. Uh, hello. Uh, how are you? Today I'm gonna to show you and to show with you uh, how to make uh, uh, ISO irredent map or uh, for another term for me I want to create R factor map which we can use it in uh, USL or Russell model uh, to quantify the erosion uh, quantities or the erosion rate ratio so first of all you need to have Excel uh, file which contain the meteorological stations for me I have nine meteorological stations in my watershed this is the net this is the names of uh, those stations I have also the coordinate system of this uh, uh, say uh, meteorological stations and finally the erosivity this is the value which we you which we will use to calculate our map so first of all uh, you need to go to file add data and add xy data and I, I need to go to that file excel file and open it here and edit the coordinate system from here for me I, I will use WGS uh, 1984 like this apply ok and ok so this is the locations of my meteorological stations so I need to just right click on this uh, file and go to data export data and export it as shape file for me I will stations for example just an example to clarify okay yes and I can remove the ancient file and I can use thus just this file so I need now to use the interpolation method so I need to, to need uh, I need to use a cracking method so what I need to go is just to activate this extension G extension geostatistical analyst from here so this is my extension which I will use and I go to geostatistical wizard and from here from Kriging interpolation method of Kriging it's, it's important you need to use this and to go my to my data and just to check that are the right value and then click next next I will use ordinary next I will just to click to optimize entire model so you need to click here to optimize your model click OK and the next and finish and click here OK so this is the result of interpolation using Kriging method so I need just to quantify the, uh, the erosivity in uh, or the air factor in my watershed so I need to open my watershed shape this is this is the shape of my watershed as you see here this is my watershed this is the shape of watershed so I don't need this this extension or this regions here I need just uh, the, uh, the air factor in my watershed so what do you need you need just to click click on search and mask like this and no first of all I'm sorry first of all first of all you need just to click on data and export to raster it's important so you need just to click OK you will have a message that uh, will tell you that uh, all things uh, are uh, have been good so it's now calculating 
so thank you so this is the resulted raster so you need to deactivate this and this I can make it uh, so what you need also you need just to click on search or going to uh, window and magnifier table search mask and extract die mask from here and use my exported layer from here and import raster of mask data I will use watershed and hit here click OK so this is a message which, told, which tells me that uh, the operation is going well so I need just to uh, deactivate just to uh, to check so stations so this is the extracted or the clip data from here so you need just to change the color so you need to go to symbology and choose the appropriate uh, color depending on your choice so this is a factor now for me if you want to uh, indicate the label here so you need just to right click here and uh, go to labels label feature and let names apply and ok so this is my error uh, factor if you want also to create a map for this you need just to click here priority uh, uh, features or go to grids new grid measure grid and just click here just as an example you can change in your situation and in your case you need just to click here in this so as you see here you need right click here and fall accent like this if you want to change the layout you can change it uh, from uh, here depending on your uh, uh, on your uh, on your choice depending on your choice you need uh, just to insert here insert legend legend and uh, for, for example extract or d layer depending you uh, okay yes yes so this is the legend here uh, as you see you can check it you can also you insert uh, north narrow depending on your choice you can choose your appropriate uh, narrow north narrow also you can try the scale bar me I will choose this just an example also I just is your choice so this uh, that uh, was my tutorial to create ISO Ardent map. Uh, you can change the feature depend uh, depending on your uh, choices. So I hope that it was clear. Thank you for your attention and bye bye. Salam alaikum.